Welcome to the latest installment of the Getting Started with GDPR Compliance video series. I'm Linda Tilova, DPO at OneTrust, and today I'm going to walk you through records of processing activities, a key compliance area found under the Article 30 of the GDPR. Let's start with a look at what is a records of processing activity also known as ROPA. Under the GDPR, a record of processing activity is a document containing information about the personal data processing by a controller or a processor. The record must include details such as the name and contact details of the controller or processor entity, the purposes of the processing activity, the categories of data subjects and the personal data that is being processed, and the recipients of that personal data. The record of processing activity serves as your evidence of compliance with the GDPR, and it helps to your business to ensure that transparency and accountability is maintained when you're processing the personal data. To begin your journey towards compliance, you can start by creating and managing your record of processing activities by following these eight steps. First, identify all processing activities. Identify all of the activities that your business carries out, including the purposes of processing, the categories of data subjects and personal data that's processed, and the recipients of those personal data. Second, Document your processing activities. List all processing activities that you have identified in the first step and document them in a central data map. Third step, use templates. Templates or software can help you create and maintain a record of processing activities much more efficiently. Four, keep it simple. A record of processing activities should be concise and straightforward with information that's presented in a very clear and concise manner. Five, update your record of processing regularly. Keep your data map evergreen and make sure to reflect any changes in the processing activities and the information that's captured in the record. Six, designate a responsible person. Designate a person or a team that's responsible for maintaining the data map and ensuring that it's accurate. Seven, Implement appropriate technical and organizational measures. Ensure that all information is stored securely and that it can be accessed only by authorized persons. Eight, review and audit your record regularly. Make sure that the record's accuracy and completeness are being reviewed regularly. Conducting data mapping exercises and maintaining a record of processing activities is a core component of your GDPR compliance program, and it can really be seen as a foundational step to build upon with other critical processes. Watch more videos from Getting Started with GDPR Compliance series to learn more about how you can capture valid consent, how to process sensitive data, and requirements for data breach notification.